What's up guys, Dr. Matt Westheimer here with Precision Chiropractic and today we're gonna to talk about the difference between glycemic index and glycemic load. Now why is this important? The reason why this is important is because so many people now are either pre-diabetic or have type two diabetes, which is an insulin resistance problem. And in the old days, Type 2 diabetes used to be called adult onset diabetes, but it's no longer called that anymore. You wanna know why? Because kids are getting it. That's the reason why we become so efficient at burning our pancreas out and not being able to regulate our blood sugar that kids are now developing type 2 diabetes, which used to only be in adults. So let's talk about glycemic load and glycemic index because that's a really important concept to understand because you're gonna see a lot of this out there. The difference between glycemic index and glycemic load is like this. Imagine if you have a pound of feathers and a pound of nails. How, what's the difference in the weight? Not a trick question. It's the same weight. So a pound of nails and a pound of feathers both weigh the exact same. So that's like the glycemic index. It's a pound. It's the same either way. However, if you look at the, the load of it, if you have a handful of nails and a handful of feathers, you need an, a ton more space for the feathers to get a pound than you do for the nails. So the glycemic load or the load, if we're not talking about food, the load of nails is gonna be much higher than the load of the feathers. So that's the difference between the index and the load. So now let's talk about this with food. Let's say you have uh, white bread and watermelon. Those two things have about the same glycemic index, but it's very, very easy to get a lot more carbohydrates from the white bread or from white rice than it is from the watermelon because the watermelon is mostly water. And so the amount that you need to eat to get the same amount, if you're having a lot, the watermelon would make you sick. So that's where I'm not a huge fan. If you're not doing a ton of physical activity, I'm not a huge fan of overeating on fruit, but I just want you to understand the difference between glycemic index and glycemic load. So when you're looking at these things, processed foods that have the same glycemic index as a fresh food are totally not the same. So if you're going to be tracking all this kind of stuff and you're curious, look up the load not the index. I hope that helps. Keep learning. Keep staying tuned. We got a lot more great information coming at you. And until next time, keep at it.